What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. To want to focus in on uh, Warren Fogel of the uh, St. Andrews College High School Hockey Team in uh, Ontario. He's going to the University of New Hampshire next year. Uh, he's lit up the Ontario High School circuit, 107 points. He's got three different things listed there. Statistically, let's just say he's lit up everything he's done, um, totaling over 170 points between uh, in about. I don't know, 75, 80 games. So, yeah, he's, he's done fantastic. Uh, just lighting up the circuit up there. And like, again, he's going to be versus New Hampshire next year. UNH, Hockey East. I think he'll be a very, very effective college hockey player. I think there's a big-time learning curve there. Um, you know, the statistic, you know, the level of competition, and I'm not knocking the high school league in Ontario, but it's not exactly, you know, the OJHL or the BC League or the USHL uh, in terms of presenting you know, junior A players to, to college hockey. Um, you know, I think there's going to be a major learning curve for him. That's okay. You know, that, that's that's going to happen. And, you know, I think getting maybe, you know, third line minutes throughout the season will benefit him in the long term. You know, in terms of, you know, getting some defensive responsibility and, you know, really building his all-around game. And he's shown tenacity as well. You know, he's a big kid. He's about 6'1", 6'2", 180, 190 pounds. And, um, you know, I think it's skating is going to prove dramatically on that ice surface at UNH. That, that is one of the best service device in the NCAA. I love watching the games played up there. It's just so wide and, you know, it gives you so much room to be creative and, uh, you know, make make plays that you might not be able to make in, um, you know, small rinks in, in college hockey. You know, actually, UNH got a pretty good recruiting class coming in. Uh, Dylan Chanter from the Vernon Vipers, uh, Jason Salvaggio, Indiana Ice, and uh, Fuck Out. So, I mean, there, there's some talent that's going to be up there next year. I think, um, you know, they're going to look to bounce back after a kind of disappointing season. And, uh, you know, Millie, Love him or hate him, he's a very good hockey coach, great hockey mind, and uh, you know I think he'll get the best out of this class next year. And I think um, you know Fogel's ranked the as is ranked as the 66th North American skater, so I think he'll go you know end of the second, early third round, um, and be you know a project. You know he'll he'll do four years, at least three or four years of college hockey. And um, again, there's going to be that huge learning curve next year going from one right to another. Usually, you do the year juniors in between, you know, high school and college. But uh, you know, he's judged to be to be ready to, to go right to college hockey. And uh, you know, there'll be some some ups and downs. But uh, I think he'll be an amazing college player, and a pretty intriguing pro prospect because of his size. And um, you know, playing against hockey's competition on night and night out basis will do amazing amazing things for his game and uh, make him a pretty good um, prospect on the line. You know, I, I'd love to see how he works, you know, as a, as a left winger coming down, barreling down the wing on, the, on that ice surface and, you know, being able to have a little more room to be creative and, and cut across and uh, make some plays, which is, you know, I, I love what, again, I can't read it how awesome is watching games up there because, you know, it's, it's an, pretty much an Olympic ice, an Olympic ice sheet. So, like, when Kit, Phil Castle played at University of Minnesota, I wish he went to, to UNH just because his skating was so much better than everyone else's, you know, seeing him out there. Uh, he would have burned even more defensive than he did, you know, having all that room to be, to play his game, but that's either here or there, and that's borderline lot irrelevant. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ, Prospect Profiles, Omar Fagel of the uh, St. Andrews College High School team in Ontario. Stay tuned for episodes, throughout the playoffs, and beyond. Later, guys.